What is up? What is up? Guess where we are? Well, first of all, I'm standing on a brand new Freeman 47. That's right. 47 foot Freeman. Unbelievable. Cannot wait till I get my 42. But we're at the Miami Boat Show in Miami. And I'll tell you what, this is the Pinnacle Boat Show of the year. This is where all the big boat companies come to debut their, their brand new boats. All the new technology with engines. Can't wait to go by the Evanru booth. Hanging out here. I'm going to show you this boat here in a second. And we're going to go find the Ranger booth. Say hi to those guys. See if they've got anything new. Little Birdie told me they got something pretty cool coming. So, guys, let's check this boat out. of this I mean like the 42 is huge this is like next level huge right but it's pretty much the same layout just bigger compartments a lot more space up here in the front I mean it is set up this is a mean mean fisher machine guys so come back here to the back fish box oh yeah this is just half of it by the way there's a whole nother half over here you can put everything you want to put in this thing plus some this fish box is first class. Now what this boat is not lacking is the amount of rod holders in this thing because it is a fishing machine. Freeman boats are built for hardcore fishing and that's what I'm all about. Check out all these rod holders here. You can put all your rods here. You've got rod holders all the way down the side of the gunnel here, all the way down. So it's a really cool layout. Check out the spaciousness of this dash right here. You can put whatever size unit you want in the front of these things. Now in my boat that I've got coming here soon, you're going to see two 24-inch Garmin. These are big Simrads here, but I've got two 24-inch Garmins laying in there. I've got plenty of room. And the other good part is the seating in this boat. That's what makes it really, really nice, is that you can put these seats down, you can put three across, you've got seating in the back as well. And uh, again, it's just... Freeman has built this boat for fishing with fishermen in mind, uh, but it, it does have so many of those creature comforts that the wives like, right? The wives have to be happy too, and that's what Freeman does. They make wives happy and they make men happy. They make the boys smile. That's right, because we're going fishing. So check this out. Nice hard top here. Got all the instrument panels up here. Just really, really well thought out. Plenty of room up here to put all your stuff. So now, we've looked, we've looked at all of that, right? Let's go to the back and let me show you what's up. Check out the tackle organization in this boat. Tons of storage right here to put all your tackle boxes. And they even use the decket material, not only in, throughout the whole boat, but the decket material inside of these doors, which is really, really nice. This uh, this decket material is pretty cool. Non-skid, of course. Makes it really easy to walk around on. Good stuff. All right, guys, let me show you this storage right here. Check this out. This is where you can put all your, all your rigs, all your hooks, all your little Zay stuff, telephones, everything. And again, rod racks for days baby coolers for drinks coolers for rigging coolers for your ballyhoo perfect room for that and plenty of room back here on the back deck for all your angle coolers check out these hatches guys easy access to all your pumps all of your uh, drains everything that you need to work on in the boat easy access all down in here tons of room check this compartment out big bait wells right here tons of room you can put all the bait you want to in here and speaking of bait wells check this out oh yeah tons of space between the live wells in the floor and the live wells here on the back of the boat you can load this boat up with enough bait to last for several days okay and that's one of the cool things that we're gonna do with my boat when it gets here we're gonna do some really cool adventures guys we're gonna take off and go from Florida to the far reaches of the Bahamas we're gonna take off from Florida and go to Venice Louisiana so we're gonna film those episodes on the YouTube channel it's gonna be really really cool I cannot wait to share those cool experiences with you but I wouldn't even consider doing it if I wasn't in a Freeman because a the ride it's a catamaran style hull so it's gonna ride through the waves unbelievable gets great fuel mileage with my heaven on the back of it I'm gonna have four 300s and it's got tons of room for lots of people all right, guys, so that's the 47-foot Freeman looking like a boss. I mean, I love this thing. I cannot wait until my 42 shows up and take you guys along for some quick journeys. But look, let's go explore a little bit. Let's run and try to find the Ranger booth. A little birdie told me Ranger's got a brand new bay boat. Let's go check it out.
All right, guys, so now we are inside the tent area, and we're here at the Ranger Boats booth, and they have some brand new boats that I didn't even know. I didn't even know about. Like, literally, I just found out about it today, and I got online and looked, and there's a few pictures, but we're going to see them in person. So come, let's check this stuff out right here, guys. First one, brand new Ranger 2600. This is kind of Ranger's first attempt at a true center console offshore boat right here. Come here, look inside. On this boat here, you've got nice, good room, but all the way to the front, you're completely wide open, so if you're sail fishing, you know, offshore again, they have a, a, a nice cooler that you can put up there for your fish box, and this is really laid out nice. I mean, it's a strictly an offshore boat right here. So this is the Ranger 2600, beautiful seating right here, got a nice T-top with a nice little Cobia tower, perfect for chasing dolphin, going reef fishing, and doing all the cool stuff down in the Keys. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the 2660, which is the up version from the 2510 that I currently have, I currently love. It's a little bit bigger boat, but it is a bay boat, so it's a 26, a true 26 foot bay boat. Let's jump on this thing and we'll take a look at it. All right, so the first thing that I notice right now is a lot more room in here. In my 2510, you have a lot of room, but this is a, this is quite a bit more room now. They've shortened up the back deck, which is good. They've got some draining, extra draining in here, which is really, really good. So those days you take on a little water or you get a lot of weight in the boat. Great back cockpit seating back here in the back. It's really, really nice. And then these live wells. These are premium live wells right here. I've been able to put tons of white bait in my live well on my 2510. So it's the same exact live well system. Really, really, really good stuff. So here's the console. Just like the one in the 2510, tons of room to mount the Garmin's. In my 2510, I got two 12 inch units and uh, plenty of room here to do the same thing. Now, one of the big differences is they actually have seating here in the front, right along the rod locker with a nice backrest, a little handrail. So it's great for those beautiful days on the water where you can just chill, go to the sandbar and hang out. Plenty of deck space up here on the front for when you're fishing. It's got lots of storage, tons of storage here. And this is also a fish box as well. So you can use it for storage or just fill it full of ice and put all your fish in there. Of course, you can run a trolling motor on it. So guys, the 2660 Bay Boat, pretty sweet. Check it out. Here's a 2020, 2510. This is just like the boat that I have back home. You've seen me fish out of so many times. I love this boat. Number one, it's the perfect size for offshore fishing for me down in the Keys, and then I can run back in those shallow bays, like in Charlotte Harbor, Tampa Bay, and do red fishing and snook fishing. I love this boat. I love getting up in the tower. It's really set up well for my kind of fishing. But I tell you what, these bigger boats right here, pretty impressive, I have to admit. Now, one of the things that I noticed different on this boat, well, I don't know what you call this. It's the front seating, basically. So they got a nice little backrest. This comes out. You can remove it if you don't want it or need it for that day, or you can put it back in for those days you want to cruise. So the Ranger 2510, and this is the boat that I've got currently, and I've got another one being built right now. So guys, lots of cool stuff from Ranger. Let's go see what else we can find. All right, guys, so now we're at the Evinrude booth. Check out the brand new redesign of some of these Evinrude motors. A couple things that they did different cosmetically. Come here, check it out. So this is your standard 300 right here. Now this is actually, I take that back, this is a standard 250 right here. This is what I run on my bass boat. But what's so cool about the Evinrude products is that you can actually color your engine to your boat, right? So like on my bass boat, I have black panels with blue stripes. This is a saltwater boat here, obviously white. He's got it all matched out, but you can you can change the colors of these pen stripes to match the color of your boat. And that's what's really cool and kind of unique, and you can pick that out at the time of purchase, so you don't have to send your motor off and your cowling off to get painted and spend all that extra money. So let's go check out a couple of these new motors over here. So one of the cool new motors that they came out with this year is the brand new 140 horsepower, which is great for your mid-sized boats or for your lighter horsepower dual applications. And what I love about the new cosmetics on these new motors is that they basically paint the motor completely white and then you can still adjust your panels according to your boat color. So you can have it all white like it is here or you can do different color panels, which is really, really cool. But the 140, you talk about efficiency, that 140 is the real deal. So check out this setup, guys. Four 300s, these are the G2s redesigned cowlings, tons of power, tons of torque. And here's what I'm excited about. Here's what I think is gonna happen. 
It's a little bit of unproven, but from what I'm hearing from guys running the quad system is better efficiency. And when you're running four motors and you're doing long range trips, offshore fishing, just getting a quarter mile a gallon better fuel is huge money back saving. So I'm excited about putting, this is what I'm gonna do on the back of the Freeman. We've got four 300s, cannot wait to show you guys how awesome this boat's gonna be. And I'm gonna be offering up a couple trips or two. So drop a comment below and let me know if you wanna go on a little fishing trip with us. All right guys, this place is pretty legit. I mean, it, the amount of boats around here, like are literally everywhere. And it's so cool to see all the technology. It's so cool to see, look at this, is the 150 Evan Rig right here. Awesome looking, I love the design. Love the new paint jobs on them. Look, you got the dual 140s right here. Beautiful looking 300 right here. Oh, look at this, it looks like my bass boat engine right here, guys. This one right here, that's basically exactly like I run my bass boat, so that's a 300. Okay, so listen guys, here's what we're gonna do. Thank you for hanging out in this video. And like I said, we are gonna be uh, getting my Freeman soon, and we're gonna be doing some charters down in the Keys. Vice versa fishing. Vice versa fishing is gonna be the charter company that's gonna be mine. And um, I have a captain, and I'm gonna be able to go on some trips with you guys. And we'll, anyways, so check it out. Vice versa, we'll drop a link for the Instagram. And uh, the other thing is, drop a comment down below and let me know who wants to go on the maiden voyage of the brand new 42 Freeman coming your way. So thanks for hanging out, guys. It is time to head back. Bam!